Okay, so this is what we look like and obesity is a problem. 50% obese in UK and USA by 2015, that was actually by this year, this was, uh, I started, uh, prepared this last year, and Sri Lanka, one third of us are obese or overweight, and one fourth have this tummy. Now, what I, was, I want to say is, it's a tummy fat, is not just a fat, it's not insulation. They produce chemicals, loads of chemicals, substances which cause inflammation, they cause diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, and they in, uh, change the blood cholesterol and get the cholesterol to deposit in the, is deposit in the liver, causing a fatty liver. And unfortunately, even if you don't drink, you can get cirrhosis. That is, if you got a big tummy with a little bit of high pressure, high blood sugar, and high cholesterol, not the. If you take individually, you don't have diabetes, but your sugar is not normal. It's a bit on the high side. It's like that. If you get a collection of these four, tummy high sugar, high pressure, not high blood pressure, but higher than normal, and high uh, cholesterol, you've got metabolic syndrome. And that's as bad as anything else that can cause heart attacks and strokes. It increases the uh, risk. Get thinner by diet and nutrition and proper diet, exercise, and control the weight. This is the main message I need to give. Diet, exercise, control the weight. Not by, you know, all these various procedures. Just simple things. Obviously, your attitude has to be correct, and alcohol uh, alcohol is okay in moderation, but smoking sh should be stopped. Nothing, no, no, nothing about, no two things about that. And the, again, the good news is if you just do these two, good diet and exercise, it lowers the blood pressure, it lowers the blood sugar, improves your cholesterol, and of course, that reduces heart attacks, strokes, and the death. And you don't have to go to because the dog, you, if you start doing it, if you've got high blood pressure, you will notice the pressure is improving. The doctor will start cutting down the, the tablets. Okay, so just exercise and diet. Okay, you, you don't have to do that particular exercise. Walk. How do you walk? The prescription is you have to walk 30 minutes uh, per day, at least 3 to 5 times per week. Okay, now how do you get that 30 minutes? Say, I have no time. I'm, you know, juggling with 10 things. And Okay, now go to office, right? Break, break up. You can break up the exercise into two. Get down, walk from the car park. Park the car as far away as possible from the door. Or if you're coming by bus, get down one bus hall before and then walk. Or use stairs. Never use lift. Leave the lifts, to, you know, for people who don't want this and don't get peers and other people, walk and get whatever you want. So you'll get to exercise wherever you are. So this is what you should do. And uh, depends on whether you are able to jog or walk, you decide on what you can do and do it. Rice, only about 200 calories. But look at the chocolate cake. If you eat one piece of chocolate cake, it's about 350 calories. If it's a big one, you know, when, which they give at various, all these outlets, it's about 700,000 calories. Okay, so you, the, then uh, roasted peanuts. peanuts. So not only really peanuts, you look at cashew I'm nuts. At my husband. Peanuts, if there's a container, you look at the bag, they give the calorie value. Most In most of the packeted things, they give the calorie value. Actually, today only I went around looking for the things because I'm having. The Crisco tin, it says, it has 200, uh, about 250 milligrams of stuff, and that will contain about um, 1,500 calories. So the thing is, you know, you just, and you can keep on eating. Right, those things. Now, samosa, chocolate, it depends, it's calorie value, usually about two or three pieces will contain about 103 cal 130 calories.